Exodus chapter 28. And take thou unto the Aaron thy brothers and his sons with him from among the children of Israel, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office, even Aaron, Nabadab, and Abihu, Eliezer, and Ithamar, Aaron's sons. And thou shalt make holy garments for Aaron thy brother for glory and for beauty. And thou shalt speak unto all that are wise-hearted, whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom, that they may make Aaron's garments to consecrate him, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And these are the garments which they shall make, a breastplate, and an ephod, and a robe, and a broidered coat, a mitre, and a girdle, and they shall make holy garments for Aaron thy brother and his sons, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. And they shall take gold, and blue purple, and scarlet, and fine linen, and they shall make the ephod of gold, of blue, of purple, of scarlet, and fine twined linen, and cunning work. It shall have the two shoulder pieces thereof joined at the two edges thereof, and so it shall be joined together. And the curious girdle of the ephod which is upon it shall be of the same according to the work thereof, even of gold, of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. And thou shalt take two onyx stones, and grave on them the names of the children of Israel, six of their names on one stone, and the other six names of the rest on the other stone, according to their birth. And the work of an engraver in stone, like the engravings of a signet, shall thou engrave the two stones with the names of the children of Israel. Thou shalt make them be set in ouches of gold. And thou shalt put the two stones upon the shoulders of the ephod for stones of a memorial unto the children of Israel. And Aaron shall bear their names before the Lord upon his two shoulders for a testimony. And thou shalt make ouches of gold, and two chains of pure gold at the ends of wreathen work shalt thou make them, and fasten the wreathen chains to the ouches. And thou shalt make the breastplate of judgment with cunning work, after the work of the ephod thou shalt make it, of gold, of blue, and of purple, and of scarlet, and of fine twined linen thou shalt make it. Four square it shall be doubled, a span shall be the length thereof, and a span shall be the breadth thereof. And thou shalt set it in the settings of stones, even four rows of stones, and first row shall be a sardius, a topaz, and a crubnicle, this shall be the first row, and the second row shall be an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond, and the third row a lingure, an agate, and a amethyst, and the fourth row a beryl, and an onyx, and a jasper, they shall be set in gold in their enclosings. And the stone shall be with the names of the children of Israel. Twelve according to their names, like the engravings of the signet. Every one with his name shall they be according to the twelve tribes. And thou shalt make upon the breastplate chains of the ends of the wreathen work of pure gold. And thou shalt make upon the breastplate two rings of gold, and shalt put the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate. And thou shalt put the two wreathen chains of gold in the two rings which are on the ends of the breastplate. The other two ends of the two wreathen chains thou shalt fasten in the two ouches, and put them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod before it. And thou shalt make two rings of gold, and thou shalt put them upon two ends of the breastplate in the border thereof, which is in the side of the ephod inward. And two other rings of gold thou shalt make, and shalt put them on the two sides of the ephod underneath, toward the forepart thereof, 
over against the other coupling thereof and the curious girdle of the ephod. And they shall bind the breastplate by the rings thereof unto the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue, that it may be above the curious girdle of the ephod, and that the breastplate be not loosened from the ephod. And Aaron shall bear the names of the children of Israel in the breastplate of judgment upon his heart. When he goeth in unto the holy place for a memorial before the Lord continually. And thou shalt put in the breastplate of judgment the Urium and the Thuminum, and they shall be upon Aaron's heart when he goeth in before the Lord. And Aaron shall bear the judgment of the children of Israel upon his heart before the Lord continually. And thou shalt make the robe of the ephod of all blue, and there shall be an hole in the top of it, in the midst thereof, it shall have a binding of woven work round about the whole of it, as it were the whole of an habergon, that it be not rent. And beneath, upon the hem of it, thou shalt make pomegranates of blue, and of purple, and of scarlet, round about the hem thereof, and bells of gold between them round about. A golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate upon the hem of the robe round about it. And it shall be upon Aaron to minister, and his sound shall be heard when he goeth in unto the holy place before the Lord. And when he come out, that he die not. And thou shalt make a plate of pure gold, and graven upon it, like the engravings of the signet, holiness to the Lord. And thou shalt put in in the blue lace, that it may be the mitre, upon the forefront of the mitre it shall be. And it shall be upon Aaron's forehead, that Aaron may bear the iniquity of the holy things, which the children of Israel shall hollow in their holy gifts. And it shall be always upon his forehead, that they may be accepted before the Lord. And thou shalt embroider the coat of fine linen, and thou shalt bake the mitre of fine linen, and thou shalt make the girdle of needlework. And for Aaron's sons thou shalt make coats, and thou shalt make them for them girdles, and bonnets shalt thou make for them, for glory and for beauty. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron thy brother, and his sons with him, and shalt anoint them, and consecrate them, and sanctify them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. And thou shalt make them linen, breeches, to cover their nakedness, from the loins even unto the thighs they shall reach. And they shall be upon Aaron, and upon his sons, when they come in unto the tabernacle of the congregation, and when they come near unto the altar to minister in the holy place that they bear not iniquity, and die. It shall be a statute forever unto him and his seed after him.